Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the 28th Tuesday in Ordinary Time, and the Church today remembers Saints Felix and Cyprian. Saints Felix and Cyprian were saints in the 3rd century, and they were African bishops who suffered with over 4,900 martyrs in the terrible persecution by the Vandals in their invasion. The Vandal King Huneric drove these Christians into exile out into the Libyan desert. They treated with cruelty by the Moors. Some were stoned, others dragged over stony ground, some forced to run by spear tips, and some were even torn apart. A holy bishop by the name of Victor used to try to help these poor Christians who had been shut up in a horrible prison without air or light all kind of packed in together. Cyprian risked his own life to take care of as many prisoners as he could. He spent every minute he could and every ounce of strength he had, plus everything he owned to assist them. But finally, he too was arrested and sent into exile. There he died a martyr from the cruel treatment given to all those strong defenders of the Catholic faith. So St. Felix, St. Cyprian, and the 4,900 martyrs mentioned, we ask you to please pray for us. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, and deed, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the confidier. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say to our fathers, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the man who made not God the source of his strength, but put his trust in his great wealth and his strength in harmful plots. But I, like a green olive tree in the house of God, trust in the kindness of God for ever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have promised a wealth of wisdom and insight. Save us from our own conceit that we may live our lives according to your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, for Jew first and then Greek. For, it is, for in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith, as it is written, the one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them, because God made it evident to them. 
ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made. As a result, they have no excuse. For although they knew God, they did not accord him glory as God or give him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man or of birds or of four-legged animals or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lusts of their hearts for the mutual degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and revered and worshipped the creature rather than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, the heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips, I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, both our readings today is made clear by St. Paul, who was a very early convert and disciple of our risen Christ, and by Jesus himself, that we are called not to concentrate on the things of this world, to make anything created an object of our worship or our Putting forth trust in everything in is wrong because it's lesser than God. Everything was created by God. So we need to give all of our worship, all of our allegiance, all of our faith, all of our fidelity to our creator. Anything in this world is just to be used to bring us closer to him, to God, to his son Jesus, to the Holy Spirit we make anything less than that higher than that in our lives then we are breaking the first commandment which is shall have no other gods besides me i think we are tempted to do that sometimes when we put our faith in the words and actions of men or even of false gods but we need to be aware my brothers and sisters that our first and only allegiance is to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If any of those lower entities want us to go against that, we must follow God rather than man. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
this. All things are possible for God. With faith in Jesus' promise, let us offer our prayers and petitions to him. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of the church, Prime Bishop Anthony, Bishop Jerry, and all priests and deacons, that they may humbly proclaim the living and effective word of God, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may work together to provide all peoples with justice and dignity and freedom, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the devoted priests, religious people, and parishioners living and deceased who have built a tradition of faith, love, and service to this parish, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially those on our parish prayer list, that they may find comfort in the healing touch of God and the loving care of family and friends, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions, we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. For those who are being persecuted in various ways throughout our world, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our deceased loved ones and those who will die today, that they may dwell in Christ's abundant love for all eternity, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for everything you have done for us. Help us to find in your holy word the source of truth and wisdom. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The rich man is wise in his own eyes, but a poor man who is intelligent sees through him. Blessed are you, Lord God, of creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. O oh Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Lord our God, you have promised an abundance of blessings to those who are faithful. May we who offer the sacrifice recognize our stewardship and so fulfill our responsibility in your sight. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. You give us our daily, out of love, you called us to life. You give us our daily bread and the bread of life, and by your protection and assistance, you see to our every need. And so with trust, we commend our day to your fatherly care. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We sacrifice the Mass. We'll continue with Eucharist Prayer 4, which is found on page 88, if you are following along. Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him your word was made flesh, in him the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us, he broke the power of darkness over us, he took our guilt upon himself, he reconciled us to you and unlocked the new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life, he has revealed your love to us. He humbled himself and became obedient even to death on a cross and by rising restored our life. On the night in which he was betrayed to undergo that suffering which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands. Lifting his eyes to you, his heavenly father, he gave thanks. He blessed the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. And supper had ended, he took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Together. Your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim. Your resurrection, we celebrate. Your returning glory, we await. Therefore, Father, we remember his saving passion, his glorious resurrection, and his exaltation at your right hand. We await his coming in the fullness of majesty. We here set forth this sign of our faith in him who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit, the giver of life and holiness, upon us and upon these gifts the bread and wine of eternal life, together. Holy Spirit, come to us, fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice through which we offer ourselves to you so that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be sharing in the body and blood of your Son. May all who receive from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with all your saints and chosen ones, with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of our Lord, with Saints Felix and Cyprian, whose memory we keep today, with your prophets and apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, and with all who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Bless your church throughout the world. Grant it unity and peace. Renew the earth according to your promise. Remember all peoples and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worship and praising your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. The union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church 
Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's say together the, second, or the first communion prayer on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. May the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever. The reward of humility and fear of the Lord is riches, honor, and life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we have received this gift of holy communion from you. Forsaking all else, may we always set our eyes on you, in whom our reward cannot be measured. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. The blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forever and ever. Amen. May send it. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. To you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Join me now in a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass today. I pray that you can join us tomorrow at noon Central Daylight Time. We will not have Mass Thursday due to prep for the Cabbage Roll Dinner on Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. We invite you to that. Um, and we will be back Sunday for the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And we hope that you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and always, always, always remain in a state of grace and fight evil 24-7. Immaculate Mary, all praises we sing. 
You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria.